Australia, like many Western countries, has long lived with diabetes. But the same can't be said for China. So in Chinese, it's called Tang Yao Bin. Tang means sugar, Yao means urine, Bin means disease. When I was in China, really, uh, I heard about this term, diabetes, in Chinese, but I didn't know what it is. That's because cases of diabetes in China were very low until living standards and lifestyles started to dramatically change across the last 30 years. One in 10 adults in China is now thought to have diabetes. The first survey really shocked everyone. They have a very high prevalence rate. Diabetes has become one of the world's fastest growing chronic diseases. It's particularly seen in people as they gain weight and one of the reasons we're seeing a lot of obesity in our community is that there's reduced exercise and increased food intake. When we eat, glucose is absorbed into our blood. The hormone insulin then plays a critical role in ensuring that glucose can be taken from blood and used as a source of energy. But for people with type 2 diabetes, insulin doesn't work as it should. And for people with type 1 diabetes, the pancreas either partly or completely stops producing insulin altogether. Without proper insulin activity, glucose builds up in our blood, leading to a condition called hyperglycemia, which is a major risk factor for a variety of health complications. It's one of the commonest causes of blindness in the community, particularly in the working age population. It's the commonest cause of kidney disease in the world and it's probably the major reason heart disease has not decreased. Professor Mark Cooper heads the Department of Diabetes at Melbourne's Monash University. He works alongside Dr Zhongling Chai, who spent the past 30 years in Australia conducting groundbreaking fundamental research. Research that has helped explain how diabetes causes kidney disease. The Monash team is now collaborating regularly with scientists throughout China. Professor Cooper is world leader in a diabetic research. So he's known by a lot of Chinese colleagues. And it's not just about sharing what we already know. Joint projects also help speed up global research simply because of China's large population. In Australia, it might take one to two years to accumulate enough kidney biopsies to do the molecular studies. They can do those in weeks to months. There have been significant advances in treatments for diabetes. Those drugs are now available to patients in China and other parts of Asia. And while there remains no cure, there are ways to minimise the risk of diabetes no matter where you live. Diabetes is partly environmental and partly genetic. But in most people, some of the risk factors can be prevented or reduced. So regular exercise, a good diet, will reduce your risk of diabetes and will also reduce the risk of the diabetes becoming more severe.